stream is going out and I'm setting up here uh, there we go so who exactly are listening our live stream or uh, what um, are our audience I have, no, I have no idea. We might not even have an audience, but it doesn't really matter. I need this stalker... Tech, I need stalker... Uh, what am I saying? I need, I need the live stream recorder to record what we're showing with the images. Because it's convenient for me when I edit the whole thing. Okay. So, um, Davar, could you possibly put the, the, the icon a bit... Um, okay, so the logo. Could you, you possibly center it a little better. Center it. Yes. So you can see the entire Ask Stalker Lou. Let me see uh, here if I can do that. Uh, let me see. No, but it's just sadly on a the rest of the you see the rest of the O has a border over the top of it so it's a bit shoddy oh, yeah. in that sense. Oh, never mind. Okay, so go back. Oh, then go so, back to the... Okay, um, and can you enlarge the image because because uh, otherwise it would be a problem for when we actually had to go to, in, to each and individual panel that um, way I will uh, I will be able to resize that as we go okay um, okay so um, first of all let's do a test recording of this live stream to see how the voices come out just in case yeah let me see if mm. oh yeah, I forgot to do one thing as well basically. Also could you also uh could you put the quality a little bit higher than the last time? Uh what quality of what exactly? The vis the visual quality, I mean oh, we want yes. the we want yeah. the images to be less blurry as possible. To be honest, I've already been on top of that weeks ago. I actually used this as a uh recorder for a let's play I was doing with my friend Demonox and quality has been improved you do let plays without me <laughs> I'm, I'm 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 hurt uh, it's cuz he's in he's my best friend in person and you know he came over and he wanted to do a, something with me so i thought we'd do something mm -hmm. like uh -huh. Be fair though, we do fanfic readings without Debar, so he should be, feel insulted too. <laughs> well, I told. Well, it's not like it's not like I'm keeping a secret from him. <laughs> 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 yes, but we do readings. In fact, we did a reading earlier on, me and Matty. Ah, uh, <laughs> it was a Calvin and Hobbes fanfiction. I actually did re. I actually did the. You mean the? Uh, let's see. What was it called again? The oh wait, it doesn't have a name, does it? No, that was the Mario fan fiction that we read at the at the beginning of the week. No, we actually read earlier on. I mean, earlier on today, we read a Calvin and Hobbes fan fiction hmm. called Calvin and Hobbes and the uh, Gargantuan Thingamabob. The gar the Gargantuan Thingamabob. <laughs> okay, it's Calvin and Hobbes in 1999 doing the first the world's first internet hoax, basically. Okay, that sounds... It's a, bit, it's a bit dated, of course. For me. But, um, okay, so, okay, the fun thing about it is that I, I did, for the, for the vast majority of it, of it I did the, the voice of Hobbes as if he were the muscle man from regular show. <laughs> so I was like, sup, bros? <laughs> and then my, my throat still ache for that. Oh, my. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Sounds like as if you've had a ball. Uh, <laughs> yes, a ball. Okay. Um, okay. Let's, as I said, let, let's do a test recording on the live stream. Otherwise, um, uh, could I get a link to the live stream? I gave you the link on the. It should be in the chat box. In the chat box. Mm. You don't. Uh, if it's, if it's closed, the chat box. There should be a speech bubble, button. On hides the instant message box. Oh, uh, I can't see any link. Let me see. Oh wait, it's not in this one, is it? Is there, it? I there. I just give it to you. Okay, let's see. I know he gave it to me. <laughs> okay, I see it now. Go oh, good. 
Yeah, found it. Okay. Right, we need to make sure everyone is hearable, including you two. And you two need to see if I'm hearable on there too. Mm hmm. <clears throat> so I'll just go ahead and do that for now. Okay. Uh... <clears throat> Mm -hmm. uh, okay, uh, so are you recording right now? So Yeah, yeah. it should be recording right now. And okay, be... um, everybody says, say oh, something. Okay. Hello. Howdy. Wait, uh, I just put this. Um... Okay, now I have the audio off. Hello? Hello, hello there. Hello there, everyone. Let's see. Okay. Uh, let's do this. Uh... That's the George. George, 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 Fa, George. Banana, Fana, Fa, Forge. Fim, Fi, Fo, Forge. George. Okay, <laughs> uh, uh, how did that go? I wasn't listening because uh, I have. I just left that open. Uh, le okay, I'm gonna reopen it, but. You know, the live stream thing, but you're gonna have to keep in mind that it's off right now. The box need to load this up we have three viewers right now we have three viewers uh, right now oh so wait we me uh, Matty oh so wait <gasps> me there's uh, a third one oh, so wait, me? There's a, there might be a ghost or something <laughs> yeah it's, it's suddenly started repeating because it kept on repeating in my head you know what everyone what what I was saying, what everyone was saying, so it was in a constant loop just then. <laughs> so I know I can hear myself, so... <laughs> That's... Ah, oh, wait, now it's now back to two. Ah, oh, whatever. No. I think that's okay. uh, me. Oh. Oh. Because I Never. had the page open. <laughs> okay. I guess that makes sense. Um... So what? Uh, uh, so did you test the recording? But I want to. Hey, who cares about that? We're each and every one of us. We're going to record ourselves. Uh, everyone, every, everybody's got their headphones on. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So the plan is basically. So we're going to record this live stream, okay? But also as a backup plan, we're going to record ourselves. As we speak, with our own recording uh, well, devices, Auda yeah, Audacity <laughs> or whatever we're using to yeah. record our microphone. So, um, just as a backup plan, in case the live stream recorder isn't up isn't up to speed in quality. So, just so testing, testing, one, two, three. Oh, I love that episode. Testing, testing, one, mm -hmm. two, three. Oh uh, no, I, I made a joke because there is an episode in season 4 of My Top Point, it's called Testing, Testing, 1, 2, 3, so, and it's yeah. my third favorite episode in the entire yeah. season, so. <laughs> of course. Yeah, I only, yeah, I only watched the two first episodes of the series, just for uh, the yeah, preparation uh, yeah. of this. Yes, um... Uh, let me tell you something, they're not going to help you much in the preparation of this particular... Yeah, they will and, and also also not particularly helpful for the fanfiction we were going to read. Otherwise, uh, I would I would have uh, there is a lot there is, there will be a lot to explain to you because it it it's not just a fanfiction about a fictional universe. It's a complete head canon meta fictional universe based off a fictional universe, and not only and not even that it's an alternative. Non-canon story based off the head canon universe, based off the, the original fictional universe. Well, that's gonna end well. <laughs> yeah, no, it's actually quite good for the most part. I mean, aside from the fact that it's basically a first act without the other two acts, but it's well written at least. As a as a random thing to note, uh, I mm. must be crazy this past this, this past couple of days because I found something really funny and amusing. Lately, 
which shouldn't be because all the characters are one dimensional, but yet the writing is so clever. And you know what it's, it was? A uh, regular show? No. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Let, let me guess, let me guess. Uh, Dan versus? Nope. Uh, At your time? Nope. You're not uh, gonna the, guess those this. Char- okay, those characters are definitely not one dimensional in Adventure Time, let me tell you. Yeah, it's uh, a uh, throw something. If you tell okay. If you tell me that if you tell me that's breadwinners, I'm going to strangle you. I don't know what you're gonna say to this one because I'm like I must have gone crazy after watching Panty and Stocking because Oh yeah, we talk about that. I, I you didn't like it at first and now you love it. No I don't. <laughs> Are you kidding? It was, <laughs> it's the worst comedies ever made that that scrounges from the bottom of the barrel of humor. Anyway, it's, as Gynex. As, yeah. it's Gynex making fun of Gynex. That's e- even with that context, it's not even funny to begin with most times. But anyway, the yeah. thing I, I, I do fi- I do find the English dub so hilariously over the top. It's kind of becomes amusing. <laughs> yeah, I've heard the title, but considering that the show's name is Panty and Stockings, I haven't been very keen to seek out what it actually is. Do not is. watch it, hedonistic actor. But watch, watch it. It's a watch it. It's a it's a it's a wonder. That's what it is. Anyway, the show <laughs> that I watched that I thought was funny and amusing, even though it shouldn't be, was Barbie Live in the Dream House. Really? Yes. For some reason, it's a CG animated short series that, some reason, par- is like a. I swear, it's a parody of Barbie dolls in a way, and yet it's uh. so clever with it i have no idea how to describe how to explain okay, it it's well, so okay. funny to me okay so we li- okay so we live in a world in which my little pony and barbie cartoons can actually be good think about that there's a good barbie cartoon <laughs> uh, uh, well according to the var he just said it, it was amusing apparently yeah i'm try i am trying i am trying to catch this Philly Fantasia show, which is the the European answer to My Little Pony, basically. Ah, you know, yeah, that thing that you, you've showed me many times, and you even we even did a small podcast on it. Yes, yes, I do. I'm I have like I have collected four figurines of it that I found at the local newspaper stand. Well, that's <laughs> that shows you you're interested. Okay, so uh, are we are we ready with this live stream? Yeah, I say we're ready to go. Yeah. Just Matty, are you ready? Yeah. The bar? Yes, I'm ready to go. Uh, Do you have all of your uh, recording devices uh, open and ready to go? Live stream's been going yeah. on for 13 minutes now and counting. And uh, okay, and recording the bar, the live stream also recording the. Well, the live streams are recording right now, so I'll be recording with audacity when you tell us to. Okay, okay, in three, in uh, in the count of three, countdown, three, two, one. Everyone's recording? And you're in the room. Yeah, okay. this recording. Okay. Hello there, everyone, this is Mad Dog Day Master, and tonight I'm joined once again by Devar Akvaran. And also by Matty Mali, a.k.a. Edonistic Actor. It's a triumv- triumvirate of threesome bonanza goodness that uh, that came out wrong, but I don't care. Of course hey. you wouldn't. <laughs> okay, say hello, say hello, Devar. Greetings, one and all. Say hello, Matty. Greetings, everyone. Say hello, Mad Dog. What's up, bros? <clears throat> no, wait, that was Muscle Man. Anyway. <clears throat> okay, so tonight we're showcasing yet another Pony Tumblr comic because uh, it went so well the last time we did that. Remember, ask Big Boop? <laughs> yes, I saw remember uh, that one. <laughs> that's an instant classic. So anyway, uh, in the tradition of keeping things interesting, I once again chose an... A Tumblr comic that, that I find it quite unique in its own way. This is Ask Stalker Lou by Aphex. And so, Davar, uh, 
What I find interesting about this uh, uh, comic, on a visual level at least, is that, uh, okay, usually when dealing with web comics or comics found on the internet of any kind, usually the author, the artist, is usually an amateur artist who wants to show off his stuff. Starting off, you know, yeah, I doing, know. doing some fan fiction comic to, to show off his appreciation for the original product and improve as an artist, okay? Yep. Aphex is a professional artist to begin with. I mean, he is so obviously a professional artist to begin with because, I, let me tell you, no amateur artist has that in undoubt, undoubtful mastery of outline and details and drawing and and, and also the use of realistic uh, colors. We're talking about a guy who's a professional who started to do this, uh, uh, basically this Tumblr comic, just out of passion and interest for the for the original product. And he's actually and he's cleverly ga uh, garnering some sort of following so that he can actually doodle and sell his other professionally drawn artworks. So okay. that, that, is, that is the one thing that I find interesting. Another thing that I find interesting is that this artist might be actually <coughs> too... Might be... Uh, bless you. Might actually be too good for his own good. But uh, words are cheap. Let's just start... Let's just show off. Show up what is done. So, Davari, if you could possibly go to the bottom of the page, which is the beginning of the story of, Al of Ask Stalker Lou. Yes, I've just done that. And uh, and why I cannot see anything on the... Beca because I haven't moved it yet. I've just gotten to the bottom just now. Uh, okay. So, bottom of the page. The bottom of the page, yes. Right. Yeah, there you go. Now, um, look? well, I can only see a piece of the art. Oh, that, 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 that's, that's, that's perfect. Okay, so, um, you, okay, oh, and then an interesting factoid about this artist. Um, okay, this is just his first page. As you can see, it doesn't really, it's not really all that colored. It's, 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 uh, it, there's a dominance of the color, uh, yellowish, brownish. The... The drawing is good, but okay. This is just the first. Like I said, this is just the, the first page. Already at the next one page, it will be something almost completely different on a visual level. Le the, what I'm trying to say is that the progression of of the various pages from page to page feels less like an, uh, an, an evolution of the art style and more like a, already an already established artist trying out slightly different styles that would suit better the uh, the aesthetics of the of the comic all right okay so with all that introduction out of the way let's start taking a look properly at this uh, artistic voyage of pony goodness or, 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 or something like that so the story, um, yes, the story is actually sim very simple, um, and already the title says it all. Ask Stalkerloo what you could possibly expect. Uh, Scootaloo stalking ponies and dressing up like Sam Fisher from Splinter Cell. <laughs> I kid you not, she has the she goggles has in the background the, there. I see. Yeah, she has these goggles that sometimes mm. yeah, you know the the three green littered goggle thingy that Sam Fisher has in the Splinter Cells game. I also see some cams. Those are some nice cams. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, and an I audio box. And all that. Okay, so there is some interesting details in the background that already tells the story. Now, the, the details here are very simplistic for now, but oh boy, expect them to, be, to become extremely complicated, extremely complex and complicated as this comic goes on. So let's start reading then. Okay, the bars. This is an Ask Pony Tumblr b blog and what have you, so we should start by reading the first question. Matti, would you like to read the first question? Hmm. Uh, Stone Pony asked, uh, asked the stalker 
Where do you get that nifty dessert? And st- uh, oh, okay, who voices uh, Scootaloo? Uh, let's see. Nifty shirt? No, I can't do a voice. <clears throat> oh, my, I don't think I can. I, I, <laughs> I don't think any of us uh, can. Okay, uh, I don't know what stock a r- okay, no, actually, would sound like. Well, because you haven't gotten that far yet in the cartoon. So, you don't know. Nifty shirt? Nifty shirt? Next okay, this is one. Okay, next, uh, go on. Show me the next page. It's a bit of a, it's a, there'll be a couple of seconds delay, most likely. There it is. This is a 900-bit tactical turtleneck. They cost a lot, yeah, but they're better than what my boss wanted me to wear. Okay, so already information delivered in the spam of two, pa- of the two panels. I like that. So she's a stalker. Obviously, the title says it all, but she's working for someone to stalk somebody. Okay, Anonymous asked... Uh, Devar, would you want want to read this one? Anonymous asked, Where do you get all your AV equipment? Didn't that cost a lot of bits? Oh, cool thing. It's all paid for. I actually work providing intel to the Friendship Patrol. (laughs) The Friendship (laughs) Patrol. It's a thing. (laughs) The Friendship Patrol. It's a secret organization that spies on ponies. To see if they behave, <laughs> Big Brother style. The fr- okay, yes, it's, it's friendship patrol is ridiculous. I get it. We all get it. Mm. Don't die on me, Davar. It's only just begun. I'm so sorry. I just can't help but think like, like it has only just begun. They give yep. me this huge budget. Hooray for huge budget and whatnot for spying. I mean, it's not. Uh, it, it only ca- it only comes off from the ta- from the tax. Is money. Jeez. Okay, what happens next? Uh, Matty, would you like to read once again the, the, need, the things that needs to be read? Yeah. Martin Z1 asked, Have you ever killed anyone be- Wait. <clears throat> before? Wait. <clears throat> before? Have you ever, have you yeah, ever they, they killed sp- anyone before and they do you want to, want to be friends? Why would you ask such a horrible thing? What is wrong with you? It's a guy on the internet, so uh, that that it's pretty much self-explanatory, I'd say. Okay, next page. Sadly, stream will do this. That mm, scrish, 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 scrish. Oh, oh. Are we entering into a Terminator movie all of a sudden? <laughs> That's not a good sound, she says. Oh, imagine Scootaloo versus Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Whoa. Unfortunately, it's not Schwarzenegger. It's, uh... <laughs> well, well, let's see who it is. Uh, the bar, try, pre- please try to contain yourself once you, once you see who it is and how she carries herself. Okay, Twilight Sparkle, uh, Nazi dominatrix uh, version, apparently. She's cosplaying as some as a diva from a 1970s Nazi exploitation film, apparently. <laughs> and a nice, nice hat, basically. Scootaloo, you are two hours late with your report. I want... I demand the report two hours ago. Give it to me at the end of the day. Otherwise, you're going to be suspended by your service and give me back your friendship badge. Your friendship badge. <laughs> you're such a rebel. Give me back your friendship badge. <laughs> <laughs> you, want, so- you aren't still obsessing on that freeze ray project, are you? Uh... <laughs> Hobbies are fine I have and good. No idea. But not when they're in interrupt your work. I have to report into Celestia. Make sure it doesn't happen again. Yes, Twilight. Jerk. <laughs> and once again, oh, because she's teleporting away, by the way. I like how, I like the I like the effects of teleportation around Twilight Sparkle's body. All the sparkling of thundering and whatnot. It, it does look like she's traveling through time. <laughs> yeah, uh, she's my boss. I'd better get back to work. 
I've got cameras to install in your house. Wait, what? That's my job. Um, that's a facet of your life I did not want to learn about, <laughs> Davar. By the way, nice good I, friend. I have nothing to hide. By the way, nice posters in the background. Of course. As yeah. you can see, the as you can see, the artwork is anything but amateurish. You can see that already, okay, even so though it's not fully colored. Now let's see how page. the next one. Wait, yes. is that the freaking rifle on his on her table? I believe it is. I think it's a it's the freeze ray that she was she were talking about. Okay, so you can already immediately notice the immense difference in uh, visual. Uh, well, the noticeable difference in visual style. Okay, what is everyone saying here? Um, I'm guessing it's basically whatever this one guy says in the middle, which is, Art Folker asked, "So where do you get your gear, or is it self-made, adjusted to your stalking preference?" Your stalking preference. I like that line for some reason. <laughs> All of this face. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> let's see this face. Then. And <laughs> this this face is the face of someone that goes <sighs> really. It's <You're> beautiful. <laughs> Those gigantic and semi-realistic buck eyes are so frightening. Okay. Yes. Uh, we're, to we're going to talk a little bit in depth of the realistic coloring and approach of this alpha later on because it might actually become a it might become a problem. I got them on Ine. Oh, that is actually painful to read. It's worse than listening to a Fred Flintstone cartoon. <laughs> Yeah, I watched the first two hey. episodes of this show, and there was ton of this kind of horse-related puns. But they are not. But they, I can assure you, they're not that bad. Ine is just. Uh, you get used to the horse puns in the episode, but Ine is just pushing it. I tell you. You get I me. Mean? Where do you think I got them? I don't know something that actually exists. Uh. But yes, I, I do like the expression there. <laughs> That's... Oh, and oh, again, what kind of silly f... Oh, again with the, with the lightning? That's not friendship. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! Wow! 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 It totally took me by surprise. <laughs> that's not friendship. Okay, that's that's... That is the greatest one-liner. <laughs> Ouch! That that's got to hurt. Yes, it, do, it looks like the hurt. So what what are the others saying? Uh, 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 can you read the old, next question? Old man yells at cloud as. <laughs> 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 okay, this these names these uh, nicknames for Tumblr are the real masterpiece. <laughs> How so? How is life working for the Ministry of Friendship? The Ministry of Friendship is this full of Equestria? Bring no, up wait, there wasn't. Bring up the okay, wait, no, wait. No, wait, wait. In full of Equestria, there was a Ministry of fa the, of Image, a Ministry of Arcane Science, a Ministry of Technology or Wartime Technology, a, mist a Ministry of uh, of uh, Peace, and a Ministry of. Uh, Something the Pinkie Pie does. I don't remember. Anyway, Laughter. yes. Anyway, no, no, no. It was a minist It was basically what the Friendship Patrol does here, which is spying on everyone. A Ministry of Morale. That's what it called. It's called Info Out Equestria. So anyway, this is anonymous. So some guy called Lol One Seven Fifty Nine says asks, "Is Twilight as much of a hard?" S of a boss, as every pony says. At least write the swear word right, please. Um, anyway, I think she, I think she broke her muzzle, yes, which must I, be painful. I think the this image says it all. She is a hard flank of a boss. Okay, uh, the next panel. Actually, you have to jump the next panel and go to the one after it, and then because. The continuity is wrong, and then you. Oh wait! Oh my gosh! Oh, my, oh, oh no! 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 <laughs> okay, now that's the twilight I know and love. Oh my gosh! You're bleeding. 
I'll get Fluttershy. Yeah, you better. Oof. Well, that's a lot of blood, actually. Uh, uh, mm. Let's take it a turn for the... Well, no, this no. Uh, actually, this is the most. This is this is the more blood you'll see here. Yeah. Don't, don't tell Dash, please. Oh yeah, because she doesn't want to look uh, pitiful and crying in front of her idol. Heading to the next one. Actually, you have to jump at one and go to the one after that because the order is a bit uh, jumbled there. You see this? Yeah, the the one. The, no, 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 not this. You have to go to the one. Above this first, because the continuity, as I told you, well, I, is I went jumbled. To oh, I see now. Part three is up here. Yes, okay, we're there. We're at the hundred acre wood now. Mm hmm. Uh, wait. Actually, we can. Well, actually, we are at Fothershy's cottage. I know. That is supposed to point to the joke. I know, but I'm ruining your joke because you're not the funny guy. I am the funny guy. Excellent. <laughs> I'm trying to outstage me now. You, good sir, are going to pay for this. I shall duel you at dawn. Oh, what, but gonna... don't you know that... Matty, but... Matty, Matty, you're going to be the referee for the duel, so bring your best referee shirt. And also, we <laughs> fight with banjos or slapping fishes at dawn. And don't forget to bring the uh, your heart medal. Otherwise, we cannot summon Captain Planet without it. Mati. Oh, gen <laughs> gentlemen, please. Don't you know that pop culture references are the lowest form of comedy? <laughs> anyway. So, uh, yes. And, and don't you know, my good sir, that we are indeed on the internet. Okay, so who's reading this bit then? Oh, uh, I'm going. Uh, you you do a good you good you do a good father shy impression. So okay. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> I know it isn't airtight, Angel Bunny, but Nurse Redheart said I should always keep some of these in case I start feeling too anxious. Oh no, father shy is on medications, isn't she? Oh my. Yeah. This is going like to uh, well. This is going to end well for everyone involved. <laughs> Her medication apparently consists of X and. Why? By the way, by the way, I can see an entire universe reflected upon Father Shy's eyes. Yes, I can see that too. It's a Super Smash Bros. symbol in there too. <laughs> or maybe it's the window. Anyway, she's uh, knocking on the door. That, that's a lot of pills. And then knocking on the door. Knock, 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 knocking on Father Shy's door. Dun 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 dun. And then knock the knock knock on you know, Father Shy's door. And click sound effects. Shink. Ooh, high technology, really. I I I I levels of uh, cinematic details and what have you. Now seriously, look at look at the look at the level of details in this door frame. I noticed that actually. Mm. Oh, I told you it's it's it, it's almost. Oh. It's like oh. 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 Okay. Oh, oh my goodness. Uh, uh uh Twilight, why haven't you tried to actually, you know, stop the bleeding in some way? Why are you letting her bleeding like I mean, she's she her, her outfit is soaked in blood for crying out loud. Yeah, and it cost her 900 bits for that lovely turtleneck. Because this looks more dramatic. Uh, that's not. That's just. That's just mean. You're making us. You're. You're making a. Ch you're torturing a child. By the way, you have to admire. You have to like the badge. In, in, the, the the badge in, on the on Father Shy's captain's hat that says Friendship Patrol. Yes, yeah, Twilight Sparkles Friendship <laughs> it's a, Hat. It's hilarious. Yeah. Anyway, Anonymous Mati, read this. Uh, read the question. Anonymous asked that no splitting of your seemed pretty bad. Could Flutter Shy stop it? Oh gee, I don't know. Maybe that's why we're here. <laughs> what app? What app? What app? Is it a new app? Is it a new app on the <laughs> app store? What app? No, you see the slash there. It means that she's been. I know, called. I know, I know, I know, I know. But I'm struggling to find things to make fun of because this comic looks almost impeccable. Well, too impeccable, in fact. Well, see, not you're not the only one who could ruin other people's jokes. Cur curse, curse you, curse you, artist. You're too good to make fun of. 
I don't yeah. know. Those I... big eyes still frighten me. Okay, well, okay, that 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 is a pers that is a personal preference. preference. Okay, mm. should, should I twilight? Uh, you, you're also twilight if you can. If you I remember. swear, it was totally an accident. Yeah, okay, totally twilight. an accident. Yes, twilight. I'll believe you now. If you please stand there, why actually call the why actually call my friends. And the which are guards. totally, which are which are totally not the police. <laughs> I'm sure it was Twilight. Uh, can, you, <laughs> can you please tell me what happened? If it's not too much trouble. <laughs> okay, oh, Father Shy. Toes understanding. Oh, you're so, oh, you're so you're so kind, Father Shy. Look at that! It's like the Scootloose face is like oh. Mm. I can't look at this page any longer. I'm going to the next one. Oh, which God. is the one? Which is the one under it, if you remember? Yes. Oh no, it'll She's... be fine. I'm sure it will be just fine. But don't you worry, I'll fix it right up. And we'll go down to the one below. Okay, you have to. Okay, it's nice the symbol is. Okay, what is this? Some gratuitous symbolism because she's standing right in the middle of the shadow of the window, which looks like a cross. Uh, gratuitous. Symbolism there. Okay, next panel. Uh, anonymous, Matty. You're the anonymous guy. <clears throat> how goes? How goes that blood loss and possible broken nose? Well, that sounds very cheerful. <laughs> oh, great! Broken has. Oh uh, wait. I'm she's gonna... doing. Oh, okay. she's doing great. Nothing was broken, and the bleeding was stopped. Okay, it's a bit hard to read the text because it kind of blends with the rest of the of the background and and also I, Father Shai's coat and you know. it also doesn't help that uh, I didn't really think I thought that maybe one part of it was Scootaloo's. Anyway, uh, uh, I'll uh, the uh, rest uh, of this. okay, there is a line for Scootaloo here, which is <laughs> or perhaps I should say Skronk. <laughs> She's trying to be the next Ultimate Warrior, I see. Oh, uh, it's too late. It's it's too late to make Ultimate Warriors jokes. Yes, I, I'm, so, yeah, I'm sorry about that. Sure. Even though I really would love to, but I, I cannot bring myself to it because I kind of... I respect the fact that he's passed away recently. Yeah, so. I know. I respect that as well, but I just couldn't, you know, help that. So I apologize to anyone. There was no intentional... You did, uh, bad ill will to to that, just so everyone no, knows. We leave all the all the bad all the bad ill to all those people who who made those uh, skeptic skeptical comments right after he died. So uh, she'll have a little bit of a stuffy nose for a while, though. <laughs> okay, so far we okay, so far we had. The only thing that happened is Kutaloo falling down a tree. So, are we going to see anything spy related? Okay, that's actually a problem of this blog because uh, the, show, the the pa the pacing of the story is a uh, really turtle speed, and I cannot I cannot fault the artist because, like I said, he's a professional artist, so he's always busy with actually important things. So, yes. Ask Dark Lice Spectre. Darkly Spectre. Dar Darkly Spectre, nice. S yeah, s she asks. Oh, uh, you have to do a you have to do a Darkly Spectre voice. Seeing you cry hurts my heart. <laughs> I hope Fluttershy can fix you up. Twilight is the one who should take chill pills. Devar. Yeah. Devar, you you sounded like a sex offender. <laughs> Just okay. St just it. It was a bit creepy and unsettling. <laughs> and then that's supposed to be the point. <laughs> um. Uh. Probably not the best line to use that kind of voice. Come to think of it. <laughs> Twilight's actually pretty beat up about it, guys. I really don't think she meant to do it on purpose. I um, agree with her. Well, well, yes, I'm, I'm sure she didn't mean to do it on purpose. That doesn't change the fact that it sh that she likes to teleport completely out of nowhere, where ponies least expected. So, yes, that could be dangerous. So, Matti, you do this one. Mm -mm. Theo, that's a lot. 
CEO Razzle Dazzle asked. Razzle Dazzle them. Hope that bleeding stocks for you sometime soon, Scoots. I would worry about it, though. You obviously one of the toughest out in the younger fillies. I'm sure you'll sort her through it just fine. Yo. Psst, yeah. Psst, oh, yeah. It's not like I heard of anything. <laughs> to some, I don't know. I felt inspired to do uh, Lumpy Space Princess <laughs> there. <laughs> Psst, yeah. Johnny Spade asked next. Oh, hun, looks like you're having a run of bad luck. Here, have a cupcake. I even made it rainbow colored, specially for you. I hope you get better soon. Her answer? Snort. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> and then a rainbow effect? What? I think that means that she just went running towards the cupcake. No, actually, she was attacked by uh, a oh. meme that, quite frankly, I never could understand. What? Okay, I'm seeing the next what? panel here, and it's like a little. Is this a big I have no idea what that thing is. I see it flying around in various Tumblr comics. I never get its origins. It's supposed to be some sort of chibi parody of uh, the main. S oh, oh, dear lord, kill it with fire. Oh, my oh, god. Oh, oh, no, it's cuteness. Okay, Over okay oh, I have to do this. Hug, hug me. Oh, okay. The last time something this cute appeared, she was a witch and somebody got eaten. Uh, it, it was Bebe from Madoka Magica. So, really, you should kill it with fire while you can. God, those black voidless eyes. Uh, oh no, she's she's a Furby. She's hugging the the, the little plushy toy. Get 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 away from this nightmare! Get away from it! Oh God! If you see this <laughs> mad hug. Oh oh dear. That is supposed to be a cupcake. Oh, uh, 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 what are you going to eat it? I, I yeah. don't get any of this. Yeah, she says best cupcake ever. I don't get it either. Okay, right. Okay, um, let's comment about the art style. Right about now, I'm not a fan of it. I mean, it's cool. It's it's clearly trying different styles, but I don't think this. I don't. I don't like how. Scootaloo is actually designed. Fluttershy is pretty good, well designed, but Scootaloo does seem a bit off, if you ask me. I know something about the roundness, something, something about the head and how the, the rest of the body is and how she sits and can't quite point it out precisely, but there's something that bothers me about Scootaloo's design in these panels. Yes, I, I do agree. It's something to do with her face and the hair, maybe. Yes, um, well, you know, you know the realistic coloring about these panels. They will only get more, uh, more vivid and more uh, verosimil, so to speak. And it, it will become kind of distracting, uh, methinks. By the way, is this story a sequel to something? No, it's not a sequel to something. It's it's a it's something that he invented for some reason based off these characters. That, that's not yeah. a Parasprite, is it? Is it too it's too big for being a Parasprite. One. And secondly, uh, it hasn't eaten anything in the past two seconds. So it, it's definitely not a Parasprite. Yes, I think we're all safe in knowing that fact. <sighs> so you. let's just get to the next one. One which is above. Wait a minute. Is this the? Let's see. This one oh, it doesn't have a part number. Okay. So. Ah yes. So this is a continuation part. Uh, I'll make it a bit bigger. This bit so it gets all of the screen at least. Oh. Shoo shoo. Thank you. Fluttershy putting those, uh, you know, mean spirited kindness to good use. By the way, uh, it, uh, another little detail has been added to the to the to the aesthetic. 
OK, remember first uh, Virus the, the hooves has of the ponies w were actually as more similar to the hooves in the cartoon. Now there's something to have, the, now there's something to be a little more details in those hooves. You know, there is a, there is an actual line of separation between uh, the the hoof itse the hoof itself and the rest of the leg. Yes, I've just noticed that actually. And it, 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 will, it will become more and more realistic that horse hoof as the pages go on. And more and the more and the more it goes on, the more it looks less like the actual show and more like something that's completely the opposite. Okay. Is it intentional solution? Of course it is intentional. I mean, he is deciding to assign. But you can you can tell there's already been some sort of a big change. A subtle but also noticeable change uh, compared to the last pages. I mean, you can see the hair of Scootaloo is slightly different, even the form of her head. Also, the, and, and of course, the details of the hooves we already pointed out. I don't know why I'm starting to get the strange feeling this is like... Uh... A, now a, like a nitty gritty dark version of My Little Pony in style, and that's kind of the problem, really. All this, uh, all these details and complex outlines and realistic painting and what have you. Sure, it shows that the author is an ex is an ex is extremely professional with his craft, but I'm not sure it uh, suits with it, with the basic appeal that the show had. It look it, it ends up eventually looking so cause it, so uh, decisively different from how the, sh the original show looks like that it creates an, ef an effect of alienation in the reader. At least it did for me. It looks completely unique and interesting, but it, it looks so different, so mm. realistic compared to the cartoonish appeal of the classic of the original show that it kind of becomes alienating. It's uh, it, it's like some sort of uh, reverse uncanny valley effect. If you follow the, if you follow my argument, instead of instead of alienate, instead okay, basically instead of alienating you because it looks so similar to the real thing. In this case, the in this context, the real thing being the cartoon ponies. Instead of instead of of looking so similar to the real thing that. Uh, uh, it, it points out by looking similar to the thing that it's not the real thing. In this case, it's the opposite. It looks completely different from the real thing, and it alienates you because of that. Like I said, reverse uncanny valley effect. Did you get all that? Yeah, I get, so I get what you're saying. By the end of this comic, they'll turn into realistic looking ponies. Well, of course, not realistic looking ponies because they will be ridiculous, but. But drawn, drawn and presented in a way that's completely the antithesis, the antithesis of the basic appealing uh, uh, cartoon uh, style of the original show, and what we're lo and what we, the readers, are used to perceive these characters as they look like. Let's see, Night Song, so, the Minstrel. Uh, sorry, were you about to say something? No, 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 I'm, I'm done for now. Okay. <laughs> Whatever happened to your cupcake? It wasn't a power sprite, was it? That wasn't a power sprite! That wasn't a power sprite! It was a tiny dash! Oh my god! For some reason, I felt like channeling the Troll 2 guy. I don't know why. It, it what it, came naturally to you. Yes, and, it does. And already, I am just amazed at the detailed Fluttershy's hair and... Well, her mane and tail here, and the wings. Actually, speaking of details, uh, okay, there is seem there seems to be a, a lot of effort and detailing put into the ponies, but a lot less detail put in the background. In fact, they kind of look uh, off place compared to the background. It, it looks like the background is not does not fit the level of details of the ponies. So the two things look like they're from two completely different dimensions, the characters from the background, if you get what I'm saying. Yes, I do. Though, though I've already thought of a joke involving that the, the artist has switched the background detail to the, to the pony characters. Okay, next page. Oh my, I'm terribly sorry. We should go out and find her right away. Before something ha... 
and already I'm a bit taken aback that there's a uh, let's see horseshoe on that hoof. Okay, yeah, like I tell, like I tell you, the alienation process is beginning, and now the that horseshoe is a bit too realistic uh, for this, you know, for this con for the context. Boom. <laughs> Okay, oh. so of course, random explosion is random because why not? We haven't had anything exciting happening in a while, so yes, and and that game apart and look, oh my gosh, look at the level of details in that feathery wing. I oh, know, it's that... it's it's ridiculous, <laughs> almost. See, yeah, see that detail there. Oh, okay, uh, and already I'm like, <laughs> I've taken aback by Fluttershy's face here. It's like. Oh no! Oh my! The, the excitement police have come for us. Hide. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Next Opening stage. the door. It looks like Flutter Fluttershy is giving the finger. <laughs> oh, Fluttershy is giving the finger. <laughs> maybe she's that. Maybe she's doing the umbrella sign. You know. <laughs> Since ponies cannot actually do the finger because they don't have fingers, unless they actually cross dimensions and become humans, but that's for another time. Yeah, that's I wondered. If they don't have fingers, then how do they make those clothes? Well, actually, they have, well, you know, most. Okay, unicorns use their magic to do pretty much everything. Ah, uh, yeah. For example, earth ponies uh, have other ways. They, have, they invent. To make clothes, for example, they all learn to use, to do pretty much most manual things with their mouth and their hooves. And stitching clothes, oh, more, more, more often than none, requires a stitching machine that they can use pretty easily, for example. Also, I see in this panel that Scootaloo is bringing a bit of Keanu Reeves into her acting at this point. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Dude, oh check it! Dude, check it out! It's like an explosion or something. Cool. Yeah, it's like things are about to get excellent. And already I see there's a crater outside. Okay, okay, okay. Seriously, that hair—it is so detailed that looks that looks that actually looks fake. That's kind of the problem, really. Okay, the uncanny valley effect. Back to the uncanny valley effect. When something is so detailed. In this case, in something is so detailed that it kind of they kind point they kind of points out the fact that it's fake, and it kind of distracts you from your suspension of disbelief. <sighs> okay, so um, apparently this was the other two fault, you know, the the two thirds for all the cutie mark crusaders. So um, I guess I guess this I guess the one who says apple bloom. Apple Moon, you know, you're still grounded, ah, right? It's, Apple J it's actually Applejack. So it's a Applejack and little sister Apple Bloom. Yeah. Apple Bloom, you know you're still grounded, right? Oh. Oh. Okay. You, you, <laughs> you want, do you want to do, you want to you do want Apple to do Bloom? Okay, Apple oh. Bloom is actually a little adorable filly, so you can so you can give her give her the most terrifying voice you have because that that'll be funny. Me. Yes, you. Terrifying voice. Okay. Uh, why? Uh, <laughs> there is an haunting presence on this. Next to <laughs> me, next to me is the darkly spectre. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Moving on. Add two more weeks. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh. Fa okay. The next spy is, was actually drawn by a completely different artist with, from a completely different blog. They did a crossover with this. I would be inclined to jump it and skip it altogether because honestly, the artwork looks looks ghastly in that. Hmm. Oh, bony feathers! That's not a kind of rapey. Add two more <laughs> weeks. Add two more weeks, the uh, young lady. Ah, I see what you mean. Uh, uh, let's just give it. <laughs> I think people. Uh, yeah, it, 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 oh. Actually, it kind of, it's kind of the continuation. I guess kind of. The, it's supposed to be the okay. So yes, skip it. Skip it, please. It, uh, no, but this is how far we'll, we you go? live longer. Uh, no, 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 stop, stop. Where to? This one. Yes, there. 
All right. And she, she's like, whoa, again. <laughs> Keanu Reeves is a theory. Okay, um, let's read this page. Whoa. Wait, <laughs> wait for the bit of detail. And what. Nice. Okay, so there is a giant crater and smoking, smoldering crater. Oh, no, I'm falling into the void. Oh, save Oh, save me, Morpheus! War. <laughs> and she says, "Whoa again!" And I okay, too many war, too many wars. You, you've exhausted your reservoir of wars for <laughs> one page. Yeah. Uh, anymore, and I'm, and I'm be forced to report you to the Friendship Patrol, and you'll get a ticket. What were y'all trying to do anyway? Blow up Flash Eye's house? The thanks, be... the thanks be breaking stuff all across Equestria. I. Gotta stop it. Yeah, because she was actually trying to blow up the tiny dash thingy, but I, I really don't care about that storyline. By the way, you have to appreciate how uh, Apple, Bo Apple Bloom's expression looks like. She's, she sounds like she's been, she's seen things. She's, seen, she's been in Nam, and she's, mm. <laughs> she's a post Nam Apple Bloom. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, Matty, Apple you got Matty. Okay. Anyways, I... That was awesome, dude! <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was funny. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh... That was your biggest explosion yet, dude! I know. I just added a bit more nitro to... Girls? Girls. <laughs> Ain't you two uh, got preparations for the I'm Pony event? Cameras and explosives? And Apple Bloom's still grounded. She ain't gonna play for a while. Yeah, but... And it's uh, ended abruptly, that comic. Oh, no, it's, okay. it's carrying on up here. I'm giving it a couple of seconds to <laughs> catch it up to you guys. Uh, this is uh, this is very amusing. And it's hard time you got home, Missy. All right, I'm going. I'm going. And the uh, hoofsies have become a little bit more realistic. Yes, even again, in colors. Mm. Yes, and um, also, also the characters are starting to be kind of unrecognizable, even from the early draws of this comic. So the artwork is a bit inconsistent, inconsistent because of that. Hey, Apple Bloom, you see a little bitty dash fly by a minute ago? Yeah, and it done flew away faster than a nervous bird from a room full of cats after I blew it up. It's still at large. Good it's God, Apple Bloom. Like, it's starting to sound like a Star Trek villain, actually. Are you, seeking, are you seeking revenge against Captain Kirk? Is this, getting, is this taking the, you know, the vinyl scratch, the midnight bomber after midnight? <laughs> no, she, no, she, she, vinyl scratch, uh, let me remind you, she is the midnight, she's the evil midnight bomber what bombs at midnight. And Apple Bloom is the midday <laughs> yeah, bomber. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. And she's my, no, I think Apple Bloom, she is like a, the midday bomber. That's why I said midday, midday. Bomb. That what bombs at midday. Yeah, baby. Oh, I know. <laughs> oh my gosh. Matty, you had to do this as as Dr. Clo. I'll get you next time, Chubby. Next time. Okay. Great. Okay, so the the hair is a little less bit detailed than before, but <coughs> but the the overall details of the of the model is more even out, I'd and, say. And of course, Kulu is young. She is very. She finds this all very amusing. Now, actually, okay, so she was super excited a second ago. Now she's already bored. Ah, oh, kids today. Anyway, I could uh, feel like I'm missing page. So, old. Although I saw, I think this is meant to for people who have uh, get gotten every pony related thing uh, up to this point. 
Yes, um, by the way, uh, the Apple Bloom you saw before is not the Apple Bloom, it's an Apple Bloom from another blog in which they're doing a crossover momentarily. This happens all the time in Tumblr Pony Comics. I mean, the crossovering with other Tumblr Pony Comics. It gets a bit confusing at times if you're not up to speed to many of those. But anyway, ugh, I really gotta stop staying out all night working for Twilight, man. I'm so tired, that's so totally not excellent. Okay, I'm stopped doing the Ken Reeves voice because it's kind of annoying, so I'm just going to try to be scooped Oh, from good the lord. Ah! Ah! Mm. ah! What is this? Sh shining? Sh what is the Father Shining or something? I'm skipping. I'm skipping the page. Craig, I think she might have taken her pills. Flutter, flutter, she's flutter peels now. <laughs> flutter, uh, flutter, flutter shy, more like flutter high. Uh, really sorry about the huge hole, flutter shy. We're gonna fix it and. Oh, cool. Oh, drag addict, flutter shy. Uh, I don't. Okay, there's something wrong with how flutter shy is drawn in this panel. Yeah, to be honest, I've, uh, to be honest, I think the. The, this creepy panel here is the is probably something wrong with her there. Anyway, oh. carry on with this. I'm gonna turn it into a pool. I've always wanted a pool with hookers and blackjack. <laughs> Say it with me, man. Oh yeah! Uh, oh yeah! I'm. Oh yeah! I am going to write my own version of Fort Equestria, and it's going to be with with blackjack with. Blackjack and booze. We do curse and blackjack. It's. I'm actually making fun of a meme somebody did. Oh my gosh, that hoof is ridiculously detailed. Let me look at look at that thing. I noticed. Jeez. It's, wow. It's it's ah. Uh, it's almost. It's kind of creepy, actually. Pools. Oh, 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 okay. Uh, okay. Okay. So she, she okay. wants to she wants to play no. pool. Pools are all the rage right now. So okay. okay. Wow, this is like going on and on. Yes, it tends to be a you know when you do a Tumblr comics, usually you don't care about uh uh pace story story or pacing and some some of these funny thumbs are more narrative heavy but not often uh sorry can't stay huh i've got a lot of work to do like you know stalking stalking ponies and spying on them you know what funny funny thing stop Scudo does more spying and stalking work in another Tumblr comic she she cross she casually crossovers with Ask Ipsy Witch, which is one of my favorites actually. See ya see ya later, alligator. Oh god, this face. It's full of yeah. his face. It's like it's like as if she got mm -hmm. she's it's like she got hit with the dope finger. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to need. I am going to quietly go find an adult because clearly I cannot be left alone with you for long. Actually, I think and she and she and she fumbles and dies. And she fades. Thump. Thump. Uh, okay, that happened apparently. I'll come with you. <laughs> Please don't. Uh, no, that's fine, really. It's okay, you can stay there. I'm just going to go that way, that general direction. Minding my own business. Do, 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 do. You can stay there, just, just don't follow me, okay? Okay, I gotta go, bye! <laughs> oh dear, this flush eyes. Oh god, her face is turning even more creepy in each panel. Uh... Don't do, do drugs, kids. Yes, drugs. Don't do drugs. Drugs are for losers. Yeah, that's funny because the author of this blog is actually. Oh! Fluttershy, I think we. I think Fluttershy. Um, beep beep! I'm a fire truck. No. All, a, all aboard the flutter truck. 
<laughs> Sorry, Fluttershy. I think you're getting your Hasbro licenses mixed up. <laughs> yes, the trans Transformers rescue boats are over there. <laughs> uh, nice. Oh, God, she's still I going. <laughs> yep, this we goes on and on. We fire truck. I think the author. I think the author actually left a note, uh, some under one of these uh, pages, explaining that he does not approve of drags or something. Jeez, that was creepy. That's an understatement. No, duh. <laughs> also, you know that's is creepy. Your face right now. Also, another thing uh, I don't like about uh, about how the ponies are uh, depicted here. They, yeah. The author apparently gave them human teeth. Have you noticed that? Yes, I've, I've yeah. noticed that. They have human teeth, and uh, it doesn't quite fit. I don't, uh, Not just with ponies, I mean. Uh, but, okay. But let's uh, do something, questions or something. It's a long way to Ghastly Gorge. Oh, yeah, she has to go to Ghastly Gorge and do something, but she never gets there. Uh, uh, at least not yet. Let's see. Angel Obongai. Obongais. Obongais. Uh, asked, what's with Fluttershy? What do you think? <laughs> mm, I remember all the pills from earlier on, and she has anx anxious problems. So she takes pills to actually chillax. Which is kind uh, of... Which this panel explains also. R Nurse Redheart gave her something for her nervousness. It makes her act weird, though. I'll say. I'll say. Matty, uh, <laughs> read the next uh, one. The, bi the biggest fan of one, two, three asked, Desi, <laughs> why is he afraid of you? Dash? Afraid of me? You're kidding. Right? Oh, no, this is heartbreaking. Poor oh, little God. <laughs> My butt hurts so much, as <laughs> Do you use your scooter to stalk people, or is it just too squeaky? What a weird thing to ask. I know, and the silence. You know, I actually... Okay, I have to... Another thing, another little bit of, on the details. I like the detail of the of the bags under Scootaloo's eyes. It... It is, so, it is a subtle moment of characterization that basically tells you, I don't think she, I think she's kind of under out of stress and doesn't sleep much because she's a little filly and she's into uh, espionage because of reasons. So, yeah. Oh, pony feathers. That is supposed to be a swear word for, for Pegasi. Fire truck did arrest you. <laughs> 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 oh no, she kidnapped oh no, she kidnapped the scooter scooter. She's go she's she's going to fret on ponies and kill everyone. It's going to be a massacre of scooters and pony parts and fire trucks. Oh, oh gosh. For the shy is a rescue bot, isn't she? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, boss. That's okay, it. so for this next page, you'll notice the uh, there is a dramatic change in the artwork. It okay. went for more, even more realistic coloring. This is downright photorealistic painting, almost in that regard. Okay. Yes, yeah. it's a, it looks it looks like oil painting actually, to be perfectly precise. Marty, I think it's your turn to do uh, the question voice. Derby boss, ask. It's gonna be hard to get your scooter back from Flutterside XD. <laughs> <laughs> if you, if in case no one knows, if you turn your head to the left, uh, it looks like a laughing face with closed eyes. I think everybody and their dogs know that by this point. It's just in case <coughs> we have any folks who watch this video that don't read emoticons. I don't think anyone who would watch this video wouldn't be aware of emoticons. For, you know, logically speaking. You never know. Never know. Ugh. Mm. Uh. Oh, wait, now she's, she's, she's doing, she's doing a Mordecai and, and, Rig, and Rigby. Ah, uh, dude. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, 
Ah. Uh, <sighs> nah, Nurse Red Art said her weirdness won't last too long. Only a few hours, I can get my scooter back easy. Dad and I put a tracker on it after Diamond Tiara tried to steal it. Why would Diamond Tiara try to steal a scooter? I mean, I understand picking on you and calling you names, but actually stealing something seems uh, a... She seems a bit too... Uh, high and mighty for that. High and mighty to actually steal. She would actually uh, coerce someone to steal it for, from, for her. Yes, I, I would agree on that one. Anyway, oh, uh, Matty, in case you didn't know, Diamond Tiara is your stereotypical bully. Uh, the stereotypical rich and snob bully that treats everyone uh, as if they were... Lower. Something, yes, exactly. And she's... I st and I started to think she's evil incarnate also, but th that's, a, that's a point of contention. So an elitist douche. Exactly. Uh, just, like, just like in real life. Streffy asked, what exactly is the duty of the Friendship Patrol? Oh yes, we have the Friendship Patrol! Yes, it's time to get into the interesting bit of backstory that I wish it was, it was actually the story of this blog, because it actually gets really interesting. Just another inconvenience, that's what Mom would say. Ooh, she's got parents in this version. Yeah, let's see. And she's standing in a puddle of blood, apparently. What? Okay. What? It's just that there's red. Okay. Uh, okay. Um. Judging by the lighting, did she did she just fumbled into some sort of ethereal plane of existence? Okay, but you have to keep it secret, very secret. Okay, you're the worst secret agent ever, Scootaloo. <laughs> you're worse than the Chasky. Oh. Uh, so I'm referencing the Whispered World, where Chasky, who was supposed to be the bravest messengers of the of the land, is actually a scaredy cat who is quite willingly gives the most hardest job to just any random person. While okay, I was that going. Sort of I was going to go. I was going to go to, with a much easier reference of Archer. Anyway. Okay, after the big, ugly Changeling was defeated by Shining Armor and Cadence, it was decided that we had to prevent something like the invasion from ever happening again. Okay, so Matty, let me, let me bring you up to speed with the events. Uh, without uh, actually trying to avoid spoilers if you plan to watch the series in its entirety. Uh, changelings are uh, undead, basically undead fairies. I think you know what a changeling is, Matty. After all, you live in the area in which changeling are local folklore, aren't they? Yeah, I think they are called by different okay, names. They are, okay, so they are undead, basically undead fairies, imps, that uh, basically substitute dead newborns with their, with their newly born one, and, they, and these new changeling creatures actually assume the physical identity of the newborn that they substituted. So they will grow up to be like that and so they took the concept of the changeling from Scandinavian folklore and turned them into a full on race of demonic shape shifting undead pony insectoid pony zombies. Which is kind which is a really cool concept and worthy yeah, of exploring. That does sound awesome. It is oh and, and <laughs> Uh, wait until you come. Wait until you come w to the episode of the wedding in question that they refer to. It's an episode that has a lot of problem, but its sheer level of awesome tasticness kind of overshadows all the problems it has. It's the kind of episode that you can enjoy. A, you can really enjoy at a superficial level. It's dumb but fun, and yes, the changeling concept is cool in its own. Uh, merit. Anyway, uh, back to the, to the backstory. Twilight offered to create a new type of guard to solve the problem. Uh, you're talking to Molestia there, not to Celestia. <laughs> yeah, that definitely looks not like Celestia. <coughs> that, that, that is a... Uh, don't tell me Molestia is canon in this universe. Also, she's so detailed, it's actually kind of terrifying. <laughs> oh, and then... A patrol based on surveillance and, and deterrence of the changeling threat. 
Okay, so this makes sense. So after the secret invasion of the Changelings, which was not secret at all, but whatever, they decided to to actually create an agency to actually fight fight off specifically this kind of threat. Okay, that makes sense. Actually, spying on ponies to see if and placing hidden cameras, denying their privacy, basically to be sure they're not actually changeling in disguise. Okay, this concept is interesting. Okay, Princess Celestia agreed, naming the new group the, the Friendship Patrol. Worst naming ever. Well, Seriously. She, well, she was the one who came up with the titles <laughs> of certain ponies that I will not say here, just in case. For spoilers. Wait a minute. Uh, is that... Is Wait, is that le is that leather and laces? I think so. Let's count. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, what cow did they murder to get that? Okay, okay, okay. She is definitely molestia. That explains everything. That explains why Twilight has this stuff. Yes, uh, um, molestia, uh, Mati. I will tell you what molestia is, but. Uh, I think you could live a long and healthy life without knowing it. Let's just say it's one of the fandom's monsters. Yeah. So th in many ways. She even offered to fund it and supply uniforms for the adult members. Oh, dear lord. Oh, that really explains everything. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's go on, please. Let's go on. Not sure what those fishnet socks are all about, though. I think we can do without. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Why are children working for your organization, by the way? I have no idea. And Maybe oh, because they are... Lord, this is a long one. This next one. Also, 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 the art style has changed again. Uh, consistency helps consistency. in Tumblr comics. You know, in okay, but this okay. Usually, 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 Tumblr comics are not very good, droned, but at least they are consistent. This is very well drawn, but it's completely inconsistent because the artist again is trying different art styles, and he's and he cannot quite pick one and stick with it. Although I have to admit, this one I actually like a little better than the last one. I mean, it's less photorealistic oil, oil painted and more. Uh, Gritty and and graphic in a in a graphic novel style of drawing and with black outlines and uh, yes. So this is kind of a learning process project. And uh, Martin, no, 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 he's just learned. He's already learned. He's uh, he's he's just practicing well, with you, different you, you styles. Could, I would okay, say yes. You you could say you could say he's actually learning what style suits suits the comic better. That's what. Uh, yeah. That's that's the curve here. But that's not the point. Here's what we do. Okay. What do we what do you do actually? Hmm. We monitor every pony in case the changelings come back. We scare them away at Cadence's wedding, but we've been hearing lots of rumors. Also, you have to appreciate how really creepy and unsettling that changeling looks. It's almost like yeah. as it, it's, it's as if the author took uh, the xenomorph from Alien and gave it a pony shape. Anyway, yeah, I guess they don't look that scary in the series itself. Well, I well well you know, I think they look they look uh, sufficiently threatening, especially if they're a swarm. And the queen looks is basically a maleficent kind of character. Usually, when we confront them, they run. Maybe it's because they're weak. I don't know. Okay, um, now something really <coughs> interesting. Now something really interesting happens that I wish it was more developed in this comic. A lot about them isn't what it seems. Oh, the changeling are not what they seem. Sorry, I had to, I had to do that. They always. Duh. And they always seem to be up to something new, like they're growing and learning. Think about it. They hide amongst us. What is this, visitors? 
Also, the pony, this guy, this red-haired guy, which I'm going to assume is Kuto's father. Uh, she's evolved. Uh, oh, this is happening now. You can never really be sure what to expect. My hero! Okay. I was not expecting that. Yes, I wasn't either. Okay, so this changing I was just rescued. I instantly falls in love with her savior. Sometimes... Also Sometimes Is she a vampire? No, no. Well, they do feed on emotions, primarily love, so you can say these changelings are emotion vampires. I didn't read the last line. Sometimes agents don't come home. Someday I might not come home. Then why are you doing this? That's why I don't know. It's like... Okay. But it's okay, okay, it's okay, you're going to die, never mind. Rainbow Dash does dangerous stuff all the time. She'll be so impressed that I joined. I hope she'll be friends with me. That, I, that and with the money I earn, earn, I'm earning, maybe mom and dad won't have to be so busy all the time. Oh. Oh. That's you know what? Okay, so this has never been clearly stated in the comic, but the red-haired pony you saw before might just be Scootaloo's father. And if that is a flashback, then I might have a slight idea of whom the mother would be. <clears throat> Which makes all this whole thing all the more interesting. I wish I could, uh, it could uh, go further into details about that backstory. But anyway, maybe they'll have more time for me. They always say that things can change very unexpectedly. And quick, and sometimes we we move a lot. I just hope we can stay here a while longer. Oh, oh, poor thing. Look at her. And now we have a next question, Marty, if you will. Arku asked. That all being said, how did you come to be a member of the Frenzy Patrol? Something makes me think it's involuntary. My parents love me very, love me very much, and I always hear them saying that things are hard. I want to help out and, well, this is kind of a long story. We're here, we're listening already, so lay well, it down, sister. Well, we're not listening, we're reading, technically. <laughs> Details, schmeetails. Anyway, uh, hey boss, yeah, got an odd situation here, friendly changeling, and she has no concept of personal space. I repeat, she's all up in my bubble. <laughs> Okay, uh, you can, uh, yeah. Okay, so... Um, That's actually quite amusing. Okay, this is a story I'd like, actually, to, to be more, to be... I, I get, okay, the spy and the changeling. This seems like a story that would be more interesting than, uh, than Ask Stalker Lou itself. But that's... The, 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 okay, next one. Let's this see. is shorter, thankfully. S Spiel script asked, I guess your scooter is just about gone now, huh? Uh, we're going back to that. Oh, come on, I want the more interesting stuff. Yes, I want to know about the the the, the odd changeling in love. Changeling yeah, in love. Changeling the other in doesn't, love. Change the other doesn't love. seem to decide his mind about what he should tell about. Um, changeling in love. Why does that sound like the name of the next big time hit adult, young adult love novel? <laughs> changeling in love. <laughs> Somebody ought to write that. <laughs> yeah, I'd say it's about as gone as the pony riding it riding are right now. Oh, she made a funny. Uh, the faces are funny in more ways than oh, one. Hold your lord. Hold your lord. <laughs> that is just the, that is just the prettiest butterfly. I should tell it just how pretty it is. Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear me! Oh, oh dear! Some also ah oh a uh, new new little piece of detail. Now the ponies have airy ears. Yeah, that kind of uh, oh, oh dear! No. Oh, I have to do oh, it. Oh no! I have to do it, oh, my dog. No! Don't do it! I wanna be the very best, like no one ever was. To catch them to is my field test. test. To, to train, train them is my cause. cause. Gonna catch them all. Butterflies, gonna catch them <laughs> all. 
Oh, it's a you and me. Na 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 destiny. Okay. Martin. Okay. Uh, can I tell? Oh, can yeah. I? Okay. Sh so apparently, Shy is meeting with the butterfly from the last unicorn, and that butterfly was also a bit trippy, tripping out <laughs> balls. So that will be that will be an interesting dialogue exchange. <laughs> Shy Caladriel asks, "How is Flutterside doing now?" I don't think I don't think even she knows. She'll be okay though. She has ponies watching out for her. Um, where are they then? That's what I want to know. And oh, we're at the very last comic page. Okay. Um, now the last one already. I want those. That was quicker than I thought. Oh, time runs fast when we have fun, and I can I can tell the artwork, the art style, yes, has slightly changed again. The outlines are less uh, thick, and the artwork is less edgy, so to speak. It's more like, it's more smooth in that regard. <laughs> Meme Osaurus asked, obvious question, double dots, who are your parents? My ma my mom's name is... Drumroll, <gasps> suspense, she's <laughs> about to reveal it, and then... Skulu! You shouldn't give out personal information like that so no. easily. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no. The pipes, the party pooper police have come. <laughs> Twilight, Twilight, you are Twilight. You're you're the suspension killer police, aren't you? It's okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Next question here. Uh, from now on, Twilight Sparkle is answering all the questions for some reason. Uh, Matty, okay, who is this? Who is this? Anna, Anna, Anna in the sky. Anna in the sky asked, uh, Scoots, sorry, but who are your parents? What's their job? We try not to divulge the names of our operatives. However, I can divulge their roles in the organization. Um, could you possibly have more consistency in your in your secret in the secrecy of your organization? Okay, I totally agree not divulging the names of your agents for their safety. But then you're going to tell us how the organization works. That's basically the same thing, don't you think? Skulu's mother cleans the water from the lake we use for rainwater. Okay, we can we can easily track her. We can easily track her down now. Thank you for the pointer, you stupid. <sighs> Her father grows imaginary corn. Imaginary corn. Okay, is this Inception all of a sudden? Is this Twilight Sparkle tr his way of trying to throw us off the scent by making fake jobs? It could be. And is currently boasting a bumper crop this year. The two of them work hard to provide for Scootaloo's future, but unfortunately have little time to spare to spend with her. Okay, and once again with the lightning, and she's about to teleport in another location. <coughs> Let's see. Sparky Fumes asked. <laughs> Sparky Fumes. <laughs> How are things with your parents, Scoots? They are generally quite good. Scootaloo's parents are doting, but Scootaloo spends most of her time at home alone, as she has no siblings. Okay, she spends most of her time placing random traps for, for Pony, Joe Pesci, and... <laughs> Companion, when they come to boat to the boat, the burglary. <laughs> also, also, <laughs> also, apparently, uh, oh, I forgot what I was about to say. Oh, frick, I okay, hate uh, okay, okay. Speaking of the okay, speaking of the hoopsies, okay, I knew okay. Now, the hoopsies not only look the hoops not only look realistic, they also have this, uh, they also have frilly fur hang, hanging. On them when when the ponies walk, it's especially evident. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, uh, Matty, question. You have the questions. Um, Miss Arlen asks, "How do your family feel about you being airborne in such a dangerous thing?" Uh, um, Deckard Spad. Deckard Spade. Okay. Um, apparently, apparently, Deckard has a side as a side job as a gra as a grave digger. I did not know that. Apparently, apparently, hunting down replicants is not all that's cracked up to be. 
Uh, that was a classy reference and joke right there. Mm -hmm. If you don't mind me asking, how much does the patrol pay? Is it worth the risk? Scootloose family has, for the most part, not been fully informed as to this extent of her nocturnal activities. Wow, really? <laughs> really? Professionalism. As for her pay, we give her as much as we can without violating Philly labor laws. Okay, so apparently her working for you is actually illegal. Uh, that, what does, that, that, that doesn't seem to have anything to do with friendship, now does it? Yes, fantastic. Also, also, Twilight, somebody, somebody out to tell you, you're wearing, you're wearing a kinky hat. Okay? She does serve a core service here. Uh, let's see. Oh, and you know, speaking of, I like the fact that after she teleported, the lightning generated from the ex from the explosion are still rip ripping through the metal bars there. Yeah, it's That's a nice, nice little detail that even I noticed the. Uh, let's see, Sparky Fumes asked here, "How are things with your parents, Scoops?" Oh, uh, I think I. F oh wait, that's the same thing. Oh wait, it's just because Deckard Spade wasn't the second question. That's why I got a bit confused. Mm. Okay, so ask Solar Flare. <laughs> different from the actual Flare, but okay. Uh, do you get much time to just be a kid, Scoots? It seems a shame if not. Unfortunately, she doesn't get much time to be young. Her parents are gone so often, and she's a pretty lonely filly. She's here because she believes that if she can earn enough, her parents will have more time for her. It's hard on all sides. Unless something changes, an exception made, we can't really give her enough to help us situation. Why isn't anyone in Ponyville actually taking care of her if parents are not around that's i mean can't she can't she stay i, I mean i would i would have suggested her to stay to father shy but considering her pills problems she's i think she's out of the question can she go you know go living with applejack i think that would be the best solution i mean you, applejack being the panel and everything you would think um, so yeah you think that that would be logic and and twilight why can't you provide some shelter for Scootaloo if... I think that that would be the least you can do, especially after you basically broke her nose <laughs> last time, even also, by accident. Also, Twilight's about to go into a quarantined place. Well, guess, guess, what they, guess what they are keeping in there. Mati, read the next question so we can get this. Whoops and Classy ask, What are you going to do with the friendly changeling? Well, Speaking of which... Well, that, uh... <laughs> <laughs> this is unprecedented. We're still not sure how to proceed. <laughs> Hi! Uh, she's, she's like, okay. So basically they locked him with her inside this place and she's l all over him, literally. <laughs> Um, some some pamphlets on personal space might be a start. <laughs> oh, can't oh, laughter here. <laughs> okay, there's something wrong with this scene because okay, they're obviously behind a the classic, uh, glass. the classic, anti sound glass. So how could he hear what she's saying from the other side? Maybe there's microphones. Okay, whatever. I really want to know more about the changeling here, and the author had promised a more a more few details about it in the next few updates. Unfortunately, there hasn't been an update in a while. He's been very busy with life with real life problems, and also he's been drawing the uh, artworks for the for uh, for money, and he's also been very busy uh, uh, drawing and designing the artwork for the cover box of this upcoming uh, tabletop RPG that I told you about, the bar. Oh, this yeah, thing called one. Back Legacy, which I'm really interested in it, which is a full-on card 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 RPG game based off My Little Pony, but with, orig with an original setting and original classes and characters and, w and what have you. I've seen glimpses of that artwork he made for the box cover art during one of his streamings on Picardo TV, and I'll be completely honest, 
It's magnificent. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's glorious. It's ah. Oh, I want to play this game just because of that cover art. It's really that good. So again, this is a professional artist. Like I said many times before. In fact, now that we finished browsing in his uh, story mode, let's actually take a look at the rest of the artworks that are actually casually placed in his Tumblr. So you can, I think, to uh, watch them, you would have to go to the home section of the okay of the blog. The home section. Okay, yeah. so we're down. So. Again, we're done with the comic for now. This is all that there is of the official story line of Ask Stalker Loop. They have models and figurines. Yes, uh, there are, and all that. Okay, that's, that's something the, here. It is. Ooh, that story was so dumb. Okay, somebody apparently made statuines of the character from Ask Stalker Lou. That is that has got to be flattering from the other. Oh, that's a really nice doodle the other did there. Okay, yeah, okay. He's he's drawing on his table on his uh, uh tablet and then Scootaloo comes and says happy birthday and all that. And um, Okay, let's see it all. Okay, the guy apparently uh, have recently uh, hit the big 30. Oh. <laughs> A chair? <laughs> okay, I'm not sure if how fast Madhog and Marty will see this. <laughs> yeah, I read the book. You're old. Again, this is again this is very well drawn. There's there has to be something else also to check out uh, beneath this one. Ah, oh, uh, this one a commission piece. I'll make this bigger because because it has to be seen. And it's um, cold, I don't. Really, I I really I really don't like this very much. I know there there's something. Disturbing in the way Rainbow Dash is designed. Yeah. Mm, I'm trying to figure that out as well, other than the fact that Okay, apparently it, apparently she she's a bit too human looking. I think I think she she kind she kind of has the body of a midget, doesn't she? That's kind yes. of Midna. It looks like she's She has body it looks of Midna. Like she's, uh, yeah, she's got the body like, I was about to say that she's got the body of Midna. That that's disturbing. It looks like she's trusting her hips to the audience. <laughs> well, as, well, as, uh, well, that's that's your problem, Matty, for noticing that. <laughs> and we have this. Okay, what else is there? I'm sure. That, oh, I think there are um, a lot of of interesting. Okay, this is the new avatar, which is a uh, which is cool. Yes, uh, again, the fact that. We established that this artist is very good at his craft, but uh, perhaps he's over detailed. Uh, this is a uh, this is the comp this is a different Tumblr. Is Scootaloo has a presence in? We can we can pass it. And uh, this one, which Wait, is what's this one? Uh, Scootaloo's bizarre adventure. Oh yeah, that's an homage to JoJo's bizarre adventure. I know about that series. Actually, I'm more interested in finding... No, of course not. Actually, I'm more interested in finding uh, some of these other sketches he made in the past, because some of those sketches are really interesting to look at. Also, they're not ponies. So that's uh, also... You can see how he draws other figures, human figures, that well, are not ponies. I haven't seen any sketches yet. only seen okay. the finished works, so to speak. Okay, I mean, I think you have to check the archive. The uh, archive. Ah, here we are, archive. Unfortunately, this blog is a bit uh, dense <coughs> in its uh, presentation. And there is not a simple way to navigate through it. Looking for any good. Sk oh, like this one, maybe. So, what are we exactly looking for? Oh, well, there is an ex there is an example there. Me thinks. If this is a good one, because this is a sketch he's done. No, no, this is not the one. Definitely not. No, 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 no. Okay, it's so. 
I don't know, there has That's to be something it. else to take a look at. Mm. I'm looking to see if it has any sketches, but that was the only one, I think. Unless... Uh, unless it's, this is a, considered a sketch. Well, there are plenty of... Uh, there are plenty of uh, individual panels and sketches that were not included in the story mode, so... Some extras also. Like this one here. I believe those are her parents. Yawn and stuff. Uh, let's see. Done a lot for me since I've met you, and, well. There's something. Yawn and stuff. There's something I want to ask you, but I've. But I'm kinda nervous. I think he says kinda, because. Oh, wait. <laughs> You've done a lot for me, too. What is it? Well, uh. Um, well, you're absolutely wonderful. Each day I spent with you has been better than any I've ever had. You Wait, were... everyone, everyone, stop! Stop the press! That pony has... That pony girl has piercings in her ear. Ah, uh, yes. That is, that is absolutely... That is amazing! <laughs> <laughs> you brought life to my life and given me every reason to become the best I can ever be. And, uh, um, you don't have to be so nervous. Just go ahead and ask. <laughs> that oh, this, face. Oh, this is, a, this is a marriage pro uh, Wait, is that? Wait a minute. That is the changeling. I recognize her. It's her in without the horn and the wings. Yeah, you got, got, yeah you're right on that one. Hmm. <laughs> School will go like, oh my gosh, he's gonna... <laughs> What the? He he he. Noodle? That's her name? I've seen worse fun generated pony names. Will you marry me? Aww. Aww. That is so sweet, isn't it? It's, yeah, of it's course, see. Really sweet. Yeah. <laughs> also, that also that ring is huge. Well, I think it's supposed to be for the it, neck. Yes. Or the maybe hoof. Oh, maybe it has to fit a hoof. That would explain why it's so huge. It looks it most it looks like like a it, it looks more like a what would Jesus do wristband. <laughs> um, who were these characters again? I have no idea. Me, me neither. It just seems like a random. <laughs> Short, maybe sweet may, scene. okay. Maybe maybe is the artist actually planning for something over the future of the blog? Uh, this is some preliminary sketch about it, but I'm not quite sure. Maybe some idea he abandoned. It could be anything, really. Yeah. Hey, it's getting like one hour and thirty minutes almost. Okay, okay. I believe this is a good point to start. So, Devar, could you please uh, go back to the logo of the? Okay. Of the blog, so that we can we can do our final statements and what have you. Okay, so um, basically we pointed out uh, both both flaws and praises about this artist and this particular blog, and I think it is interesting to look at very much, and it has the potential to be interesting also on a narrative level if if actually the artist gets the time. To develop this blog, but uh, but I'll say that this artwork is definitely unique from anything else I'm used to in uh, in comics, really. So for, only for that is something that I would recommend checking out for the how different it looks like. But do not expect all that much consistency in between panels. There's also the fact that these panels have been drawn and realized with very much with a lot of distance of uh, ti uh, time and distance in between one another. So there's also that to take in cons into consideration. So ask Stalkerloo. It gets my pass. It gets a pass from me as well, just because uh, it's very interesting, the styles and the differences to between each of the times he posts any of the new pages. The only downside I thought was 
narratively speaking, he seems to get distracted from the more interesting questions that should have been asked. If you know well, what I mean. you know, the, that's kind of the limitations of an ask Tumblr blog. Yeah, I know. It, but I'm it, just it, has, it has to develop. It has to. It has to develop itself around more. More often than not, it has to instead of instead of developing itself through the questions, it has to develop itself around the questions provided by the fans. The best tumblers are the ones that actually manage to to use that their interactive. Uh, element to actually found a unique dimension and of, of the medium. And as much as it pains me to say one of the best tumblers in that regard is Askeping Kamina the Yam Pie, uh, which is a very not safe for work tumbler, but it actually works perfectly in its own with its own uh, medium and its own uh, <laughs> thing that it does. But anyway, ask Stalker Lou. Again, it's interesting to look at. How about you, Matty? A bit, a, bit, uh, a bit alienating, but uh, Matty, your thoughts, yes. Yeah, because I'm not that familiar with the characters or this concept of uh, Tumblr comic, uh, I constantly was lost at what was happening and uh, I was wondering what was the point of this whole debacle, but the dialogue... <laughs> He's so was nice, and the Scootaloo was a nice character. And I just hope it would have been more coherent and realized, and so fragmented. Like again, some... again, again, this Tumblr shows the limits and the strengths of a Tumblr comic. The strengths being that uh, it showcases an artist's value as an artist, but um, it's held back by the fact that it's an Ask Tumblr blog. So it cannot even develop co uh, a, a coherent storyline because it has to answer questions. Yeah, you have to bring even stuff as you go along. Also that. Which is too bad because I really, really love to uh, see what where this, where is that... Uh, Abnormal changeling story arc going towards, which is seem, which is, so far is the most interesting aspect on a narrative level in this story. I'm going with she ate too much love, <laughs> or may or maybe she has an actual personality, and maybe she's a fugitive, and maybe she she's an uh, outcast, or maybe she's like Emmy Rose in pony form. <laughs> You know, somebody saves her and she's like, Oh, my hero! Let's get married! I'm totally going to stalk you from now on! That's not creepy! <laughs> Fine girl screech! Yeah! And all that. <laughs> Although, come to think of it, an over-romantic changeling would make perfect sense considering the changeling feed of love. But uh, that's just me speaking in my head canon. Okay, I think we talk anything that needed to be talked about this comic we just showcased. So in, uh, so I think it's time to go the the final greetings and goodbyes, and in this case, a late goodbye because it's late. No, 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 it's a late goodbye, such a late goodbye. You know the song by now. Yep, we all know the song. <laughs> okay, this has been Mad Dog Die, master of secret espionage and stalking. And I'm watching you, William Sleep, by the way. I am, and I have been Devarak Ron, and may we meet again next time, folks. And I'm hedonistic actor, and I guess we need some point. Okay, um, but seriously, I, seriously, for a comic named Ask Stalker Lou, there was a, there was a, a little, too little of stalking. <laughs> too little of of all that. <laughs> it doesn't tell you what he promises. We need to make sure we ask that question next. What type of sneaking tool she has. But remember, kid, stalking is a good thing because everyone has a right for personal space. Unless, unless the government wants to, wants to spy you. In that case, everything is fine. Big brother and what have you. Okay. Good night, everyone.
Take care. Good night. Okay, cutting. Especially the live stream to save the video.